Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 10th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this seg segment, I'm gonna talk about some new science that is coming out, which is investigating the potential for large ice melt from regions of Antarctica. But before I do, I'd like to talk to you a bit about winds. In particular, how winds interact with the ocean and help to drive atmospheric warming into the ocean system. This image of the global forecast system model is focusing in on Antarctica, which we are looking at from above. And what we see are powerful storms swirling around Antarctica in the range of 50 to 60 degrees, 40 to 60 degrees south, south lat latitudes. These powerful storms churn up the ocean waters, generating upwelling. This upwelling tends to cool the ocean surface, and these cooler waters contact the warming atmosphere, pulling in the excess heat that is produced as greenhouse gases from things like fossil fuel burning heat up the atmosphere. This excess heat ends up getting transferred into the ocean system. I'm going to show you a sea surface temperature anomaly map so that we can see these, these cooler waters surrounding Antarctica as the winds blow and as the bottom waters are churned up, which creates a, a large heat sink. And, and one of the largest regions of heat accumulation in the deeper layers of the Earth's ocean is surrounding Antarctica, primarily due to the powerful storms that swirl around it. Since the 1980s, ocean heat gain, gain has really ramped up. And we've seen about 90% or more than 90% of the, the total global heat gain get transferred into the oceans over this time period. This added heat gain creates pools of warm water not only at the surface, in the surface region of zero to 300 meters, but also translating into deeper layers of the ocean. This warming through deeper layers in turn generates large pools of warm water that then can be moved by various forces, including changing winds, to contact glaciers. Warmer waters contacting glaciers in the basal zone increase the rate at which glaciers melt. And this process is, is a primary driver for ice sheet destabilization and loss of massive volumes of ice from Antarctica. In the past, East Antarctica, which is the largest region of ice for Antarctica, was seen as, as a stable zone, pretty much impervious to the assaults of human-caused climate change. Therefore, most research focusing on ice sheet destabilization looked at West Antarctica. And over recent years, we have seen a number of glacier, glacier systems destabilize, contributing more and more ice to the, the global ocean system and increasing overall ocean levels. But recently, there has been some concern that certain glaciers in East Antarctica would begin to destabilize as well. And one of these glaciers that has come into focus is the Todden Glacier, which recent research has shown is accelerating. Now, when we compare ice, if, if all of West Antarctica were to melt, oceans would rise by about 14 feet. And that's significant and a threat to coastal cities around the world. It's a little bit more than half 
the contribution you would see from Greenland if all of Greenland melted. But if all of East Antarctica were to melt, approximately 174 feet of sea level rise would result. This one glacier system that scientists are starting to focus on, if it melted in total, would push sea levels 16 feet higher, single glacial system, which composes more potential sea level rise than all of West Antarctica, which is one of the reasons people are concerned and this glacier system is coming into focus. Now, according to new research provided by Geophysical Research Le Leathers, the Totten Glacier over the past, let's see, over the 14 year period from 2002 to 2016 ha has lost 18 billion tons of ice every single year. Now this ice loss is equivalent to about a quarter of all the ice loss that we presently see in Antarctica, but it's a signal that a region of the world that can contribute massive volumes of water into the global ocean system is starting to move. And that's, that's bad news. Presently, Antarctica is, is not the major driver of global sea level rise, but that can change very rapidly. And during recent years, global sea level rise has accelerated to around four millimeters per year if you're looking at the past decade. So the Totten Glacier is something that we really need to keep an eye on. And East Antarctica as a whole is a massive volume of ice that we really don't want to see continue to move. Unfortunately, at 1 to 1.2 degrees Celsius warming, which we've already forced into the Earth system through massive uh, greenhouse gas emissions and fossil fuel burning, these glacier systems are starting to move. And once large glaciers start to move, it's really hard to stop them. It's worth noting that this process that we see ongoing in Antarctica and in Greenland represents a, a threat to major cities around the world. So, so this issue is, is one that affects us all. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.